But the more, the more I started like reading and learning and the more I became, you know, a Jesus fanatic, yeah. <laughs> I started to realize how powerful that name is. Yes. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know what? Went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. Uh, it was very, very important for me to seal the deal. It's like buying a car, you have to sign, you have to sign the contract. <laughs> and uh, people, people have heard my story here and there, but uh, they really didn't know how, how deep it really was. And, and uh, I wanted to share it because, uh, you know, the pastor didn't know that as a kid, that the person that molested me uh, would drown me and it was, on a regular basis, I, I mean, I, he would drown me, take me out of the water, do it again, and it was, it, 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 it messed me up, mentally it messed me up. So when the pastor put me in the water, and I went in, I closed my eyes, and I, I, I seen it, I, I seen myself as that little kid, I seen my uncle, uh, his hands, everything but when he pulled me out man the light that i seen the uh the i just <laughs> it was an amazing experience yeah it, it healed me in a way that i i can't even describe and i, I stopped asking questions a long time ago because at the beginning i was always like are you sure are you sure and then he kept hitting me in the head with different stuff and just you know calls, phone calls, this, this, and I was like, man, I, after that I was like, man, even the Super Bowl has a halftime, like, can I get a halftime? And it, it was, it was beautiful just to see the healing, the feel the healing in, inside of me after I came out of that water, because, man, I know how great he is now, I know what he's doing in my life, and, uh, I shared that with him afterwards. He didn't even know. <laughs> He's like, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that? So he went back and, and I think you watched the video with your wife. Yeah. And, and we could see where after we immersed him and we brought him out, it was just like, he had like a struggle coming out, but not in a bad way, but we're, I seen the something happen while going in and coming out. It was just an amazing, And you know what? after knowing what he went through and what God had done, just, if you haven't seen it, I have, I'll have i have them put it on or add it on to yeah, the video yeah. so you can actually see that clip. It was an awesome experience. You know, I feel like, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I was wrestling with that demon in that water. Wow. And then Jesus just pulled me out and, uh, <sighs> man, like, uh, he was gone. You know, he was gone after that. He pulled me out and he just, he. I felt it in my heart that he just told me, you're mine. And, and that's why, like, I raise my hand up every time now. I'm like, send me. Send me, because I want to go to the front lines. Send me to the hood. Send me to Humble Park. Send me to Little Villita. Send, send me to 59. Send me to all these hoods, because there's a million JCs out there. There's a million uh, pastors out there. You know, uh, uh, I don't want to disrespect you, call you by your name. So. <laughs> I have to respect him, you know, he went to school now, so he earned his degree, so you gotta respect him, all right? And only behind closed doors I come, bro. Call me by his name, yeah, no problem, man. But, you know, uh, 
the struggle, and I'll put the video up so you guys can see it, but I felt the wrestling, but it was only because he made me strong enough to be able to wrestle with that demon and come out on the other side, a new creation. And, man. It's crazy, uh, being able to be part of JC's life is a blessing and just be one of the many mentors that God has placed in his life. Yeah. And because JC needs it. He needs these brothers, accountability around him because what God has in store for him is amazing. And this brother, be, I believe it and I see it, that he'll be worldwide sharing his story for the glory of God, lifting up the oh, name of the him. Lord. He's all, you're already doing it through the social media, you know, through, through your channel. But there's more avenues that God's going to open up for you to be able to share your story because, like you said, not only in Chicago, but in California. Everywhere, in Texas, Texas, Florida, in, in New York, London, Florida, London, <laughs> the UK, um, all over the world, there's people that are lost, not just to gangs and to drugs, but our brother, like he was mentioning, he's been through just different things in his life that he could connect with a lot of different type of people, but at the end of the day, say, well, you know, who did the work in me, who set me free? Jesus. And there's something about the name of Jesus that's just so powerful. The more you get to know him more intimate, it's like, how am I supposed to introduce somebody to you if I don't know who he is? Exactly. So now I realize why it's important to get to know, to have an intimate relationship with God and know all his names Amen. and know what makes him mad, what makes him happy, yeah. because now you know him. Yeah. You have a relationship with him. and. Another thing that I want to touch on is, you know, today I'm getting married uh, for the first time in my life. Uh, I've never, never cheated on my wife. Uh, I've, I've come to realize that, you know, I was living in sin my whole life, you know, sleeping around with a lot of women and creating sin inside of my body because that's what it does when you guys sleep around with different women. This is why there's so many STDs. This is why there's there's so much bad stuff that you put into your body. And again, your body is your temple. So when you're out there giving high fives because you slept with two or three girls in one day, or, or, or like, don't don't fall victim to this world and to these beliefs that that's cool because it's not cool. And this is coming from somebody that did it his whole life. Now I realize how much God loves you and your body. Remember, we're creating his image. And you don't, you're supposed to respect yourself. Mm. You, you, you have to love yourself because that's how much God loved you to create you. And by you giving yourself like that before, I mean, my wife put it perfect yesterday. Sometimes she, I'd be like, preach, babe, because she, she just be on fire sometimes. Oh, yeah. and, then, and the way she said it, she's like, just think about it. When two people get together that they've never been with nobody, there's no jealousy, there's no lust for like other things, there's like you're completely clean and then you come together, you know, God takes two people and makes them one. The devil takes one and makes two. Come on, preacher. So, you know, you have to respect yourself and, and be, that's being a real man. Amen. Respecting your body, yeah. respecting your woman, and just living the life. Amen. Talk to talk, walk to walk. That's all it is. Like he says, pretty black and white. Just be real with it. Man, if God could change Brother JC, and do it for me and the millions out there, including Mike Servin, that brother's real deal. I got to spend time with him and he is in love with Jesus. <laughs> and just the many more loquitos like us. <laughs> yeah. Because if you think about it, we were crazy in the world. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know, but whilst we're in love with Jesus, we ain't, we're not ashamed to lift up his name. We're not ashamed to tell people he can change you. <laughs> it was just like I was telling you yesterday. I was like, man, sometimes I get a little nervous because I don't know how to read and write that good, you know? And the brother's like, right away sends me scripture. And I'm like, I know, I know. Sometimes, you know, I'm still human. Sometimes I still, I'm like, but I don't know how to write. I don't know how to read. Well, you don't have to worry about none of that stuff because when the Holy Spirit comes inside of you, He will give you the word. 
He would give you the words. He would give you the strength. All you have to do is get up. Say, here I am, send me. That's it. That's it. That's it. Send me, send me, because I'm ready. And guess what? He puts that full armor on you, your helmet, your belt, your chest, your, your shield. And guess what? The best thing, the sword, the Come word on. of God. Woo, man. And after that, I mean, what else do you want? You want to be a real warrior? You want to be a real gangster? Then walk this walk. That's what I say. Right, this ain't no cakewalk. This is a real walk, and only the strong survive in this. And there's many faithful men and women of God that are real deal out there. And I don't know why I feel like saying this, but if you've been hurt by the church in any way, by maybe a member, or a brother or sister in Christ, or even a leader or a pastor in the past, which caused you to separate yourself from the church and from God, just know that the Lord hasn't forgotten about you and that he loves you and he understands your pain. And even though you face that, he can heal you. And not every believer and not every pastor and not every leader is, is what that person did to you. Amen, there is healing in this in this walk there is healing in christ let the lord lead you stop running from him and get connected get reconnected because he's calling you yeah. he is calling you he loves you he wants to heal you he wants to transform you he wants to build you up he wants to change your life just like he's doing with him he wants to do it with you remember guys if you sit there fighting with all the brothers and sisters <laughs> the enemy's <laughs> laughing because you forget about him yeah you're too busy fighting everybody else and, and and, and that's 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 what he wants. He wants to convince you. Oh, look at what they did to you. Look at how you feel. Like not everybody's like that. You know, they're struggling with something. Pray for them. Feel. You know, let it go. Let him handle it. They'll have their day. You know. And and I when I get up there, I want him to be like, man, JC, you did good. Even though you don't know how to read and write. <laughs> you, know, work well, man. you can bench 315 pounds. Yeah, yeah. I told him, he was telling me that. And I said, no, nah, brother. The Lord did it with Jeremiah. And, and, and Jeremiah said, but I'm only a youth. I, I don't know too much. And the Lord was like, man, I, I'll tell you what to say. I'll give you the words. Well, man. I wish I was a youth. <laughs> Still, you're young, you're young in the Lord, man. Amen. He yeah. Be willing. Here I am, send me. And he has that attitude. He has that willingness. God will use him because he's not afraid to speak up for the Lord. Nah. Amen. Nah. I am ready and uh, yeah. He's getting married today, y'all. So congratulate him. Pray for him. His wife, Bethany and, and, and Julio Cesar. Amen. I'm not taking, I'm, nope, I'm taking her last name. I'm I don't want, I don't Julio want Savage. Name. Julio Cesar Ooh. Savage. That's going to be my last name. GJS. Julio Savage. <laughs> so, hey guys, there's gonna be a lot coming up. Yeah, a lot, a lot coming up. So just stay tuned. And like I said, you guys have any questions, anything, we can help you find a church. We can pray for you. Leave us a message. Uh, uh, I, I, I try to, I try to respond to every single one. Sometimes it, it gets hard. But I have my, my other mentor, John. John uh, Humphrey, he's always on there. He's always willing to respond for, for to questions, willing to disciple people. Like he's he's another mentor in my life that I, I just awesome. have to I have to put him on blast right here because he's awesome. I've I've got to spend time with him and he's real deal. Yeah. He loves the Lord and I'm glad that he lives here in uh, Phoenix with our brother. So I know that John gets to interact with him more physically in person and have Bible study with him and connect with them and that's what my brother needs and it's just awesome um, what brother John is is he's truly truly man of God and God put him there to help you too and, and that's a testimony in itself because I, I didn't want to take his class but we'll get to, <laughs> to that later I do want to give a shout out to Pastor Ray from Texas a uh, another uh, pastor that connected with me and we hit it off because I mean we have a lot in common also, and, and I, I just, I'm, I'm excited, I'm joyful, I'm ready. I just want to train, I want to work, and, and man, I want to save some souls. Come on, come on. Because, man, it, it, especially in Chicago, it's really, really needed, man. I, I just did the video, you guys watched it. Too many people getting shot, too many people involved in the drug trade. 
uh, too many people in addiction, too many people in, in sin of sleeping around, lust, all these things. And, and, and remember, I, I can't stress this enough, and I'm gonna say it until I'm blue. He wants you to live like that because he wants you to be miserable. He doesn't want you to be joyful. He doesn't want you to be happy. He doesn't, you know, it causes him, I guess he gets like the chills when people start getting too happy. <laughs> so, hey, a lot to come, guys. A lot to come. So to all those pastors out there from different states, man, reach out to him. He has an amazing story. Brother JC needs all the support that he can get to establish the wrong to strong. He wants to start a facility. He has big dreams, big, big visions, and he needs the right people around him to be able to make this dream that God has placed in his heart to come about. And men of God, leaders out there, pastors out there from all different organizations and different churches, man, reach out to him. He needs all the help that he can get to make this happen. He he has this awesome, uh, I know we're done, the Navy SEALs for God. <laughs> Navy SEALs for the Lord. Yeah. And I said, man, just how awesome it would be to be able to connect with all the different states and just start this awesome movement and just go out there and snatch your souls from the enemy yes. and bring them to Jesus. And so I'm excited about what God is doing. And I'm just like, I'm here on the roller coaster with him. I'm like, all right, man, where we going next? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it because it's going to be... It's gonna be awesome, man, to see just just everything how it's connecting with my whole journey in, in fitness and just just everything that he's put in my heart. Uh, uh, I sit there and I listen now, and I, I don't move until he tells me to move. Once he gives me the great the green light or that SOS, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Serve on sight. Serve on sight now, yep. right? Serve so, for Jesus. So you know we're gonna we're gonna be out there. Like I said, guys, leave a message if you need help. Let us pray for you. Let, let us let us do what God is calling us to do. So, uh, Praise the Lord. in other words, I always say this: Let Jesus do what He came to do. Come on. Hey, all you have to do is believe it. Just this little size of a mustard seed. That's it. That's it, and you're good. Amen. Amen. Catch you on the rebound. Catch you on the rebound, but you have to go that way, and I'll go that way. All right, catch the rebound. <laughs>